Welcome to this part of gate solved problem. In this part, we will discuss only one problem which is based on sequential circuits. Few days back, I got this problem on our Facebook page and this problem was sent by Prabhakar Das. Prabhakar Das knew the answer of this problem but he needed the explanation. You can see the problem on your screen. Let's read the problem first. When the output Y in the circuit below is 1, it implies that data has there are four options according to option A changed from 0 to 1 according to B option data has changed from 1 to 0 according to C option data has changed in either direction 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 and according to D option the last option data has not changed you can see the circuit on your screen and for better understanding I have drawn this circuit on my board this problem is taken from gate 2011 electronics and communication paper gate 2011 electronics and communication paper in this problem there are two d flip flops and one and gate the output of this and gate the output of this and gate is y which is the output of this sequential circuit let's say the first d flip flop is a flip flop the second d flip flop is b flip flop and because of this reason i will call the input of first d flip flop as da and the two outputs will become qa and qa complement in the same way this input will become db and the two outputs will become qb and qb complement you can see db is same as qa complement the input of second flip-flop db is equal to qa complement and the input of first flip-flop is the data da is the data and the output y is equal to qa and qb qa and qb and in this problem we need to find the change in data when output y is equal to 1 when clock is not given to the two flip-flops then QA and QB will remain in their reset state and to find out the correct answer I will make one table and in this table the first column the first column is for clock the second column is for data and the third column is for two outputs QA and QB when no clock pulse is given the two outputs will remain zero and for the first clock pulse let's say data is equal to D1 now we will find out QA and QB for the first clock pulse DA is equal to data data is equal to D1 this means QA is also equal to D1 because QA is equal to DA where QA is the output or the next state. So QA is equal to D1 but this D1 as QA is only available after completion of the first clock pulse. And in case of second flip flop DB is equal to QA complement but if you see QA initially then it was equal to 0 this means QA complement is equal to 1 so DB is equal to 1 this means QB is also equal to 1 so QB is equal to 1 QB is not equal to D1 complement because D1 will be available only after completion of first clock pulse now for the second clock pulse let's say data is equal to D2 so QA is equal to D2 and QB is now equal to D1 complement during the second clock pulse QA is equal to D1 this means QA complement will be equal to D1 complement so DB is equal to D1 complement and this will make QB equal to D1 complement so this is the important result from this circuit and now we will generalize the case we will generalize the case 
the output of first flip-flop QA is equal to present data and the output of second flip-flop QB is equal to complement complement of previous data and if you see the output the output y then it is equal to qa and qb this means y is equal to present data present data and the complement of previous data the complement of previous data so this is what we have and the output y is equal to 1 only when the present data is equal to 1 and the previous data is equal to 0. So the data must change from 0 to 1. 0 is the previous data and 1 is the present data. So the data must change from 0 to 1 and in this way option A is the correct option. I hope this problem is clear to you and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.